Alright, so replacing the lawnmower blades on your Honda HRX 217 is pretty simple. The first thing is always unplug the spark plug. Then when you're working underneath, you're going to want to tilt the lawnmower to the side with the air filter up. This will prevent it from flooding the engine. Uh, you're going to need something to keep the blades from spinning. A 2x4 works best, but a rake handle works you know, if that's all you've got at the time. Um, while I've got it on the side, I always like to scrape it up, get any gunk off as much as I can. And uh, then it's as simple as using a 14 millimeter socket wrench and uh, untightening it. And then this, uh, the Honda has two bolts on the outside that you want to take off. You don't want to take off the one in the middle. Um, because it's got dual blades, it's got a little uh, bracket that the blades bolt onto and so you don't want to take that bracket off you just want to take the blades off. Once you get the blades off I like to scrape the deck a little bit more it's easier to get into the nooks and crannies with the uh, blades off. So I just did a video on how to sharpen your blades. I'll link to it in the description below. When putting on the blades, it's actually important to use a torque wrench. A torque wrench, you set the torque and it will make a click and you'll feel the handle move when it hits that torque so you don't over tighten it. Now the Honda manual says to torque it to about 40 pounds per foot and uh, it's pretty easy. You just, I've got a a Harbor Freight Torque wrench, and I'm sure they all work the same, but you just twist the handle to 40 and then you tighten like you normally would. Um, I like to do a little bit on each of the bolts and go back and forth so it's even, and then when it clicks, that's when you know that it's tight enough. If you use an impact driver or you know any battery or electric powered drill, you're gonna over tighten it and you can snap it. So, uh, all right, I'm gonna be quiet now so you can hear the clicking noise. Alright, so that's how, how easy it is. Um, you can see I used the 2x4 when tightening it too. And it's that simple guys. Um, anybody can do it. And the torque wrench click is actually, it's, it's pretty fun. The first time you do it, you'll probably click it a whole bunch of times and then after that it gets old. But the first time it's okay. Alright, I appreciate you guys watching my videos. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe comment, all that fun stuff. It's what makes this uh, really enjoyable and fun making all these videos. And uh, be sure to check out the ones below. Have a great day. Bye.